Hello my friends and welcome to the 1980s uh, affordable fleet car testing video for the challenge of course. It's been a week and all the, all the cars are in. I've reviewed all of them which uh, the total number of the submitted cars is 58 cars. Unfortunately one car only got disqualified because the you know the cost or the you know the final cost of that car was above the limit. I'm not gonna say the name of it. I don't, I don't want to embarrass anyone. Everyone knows the list so far, but the, all the cars are very, very crazy. All of them are looking somehow beautiful. Some of them are looking too boxy. Some of them are looking ugly, but all of them are tip top. I like all of them. I, I don't hate any of them. And I've already picked the top 20 list car, which we will be reviewing here in this video so my friends enjoy this video because we will be testing all the top 20 cars on the automation uh, test track not the full track but the old track because yes my friends there is an old track which are uh, which we'll be going to right now using this which is the the prize car for this challenge which is the 393 x EFI that's the name of it this is of course the special version which is the prize for the winner of this challenge of course because this is the turbocharged version yes my friends this car uh, built the rules of this challenge all the rules uh, were built or you know all of them were built on this car i made this car i used the best materials possible i'm not i'm not saying plus 15 quality no i'm talking about the best materials and the best parts possible for the limits and that was the whole point so this car cost eight thousand dollars exactly this car uh, has a uh, you know production units for the whole car itself 70 points and for the engineering time 65 points exactly so all the all the all the rules that you have you have seen for the previous challenge for the for the fleet 1980s challenge all of them were were built on this car so let's take a quick drive uh, to the old circuit and see how those 20 top 20 cars will perform and of course the winner of the ch of this challenge will receive a copy of this car to enjoy in his bmng bmng drive for eternity i think so let's head to the track and let's see how those cars will perform all right my friends so the first car which is in the, tw the in the 20th place it's called the ax s sun that sun that's the name of it uh, this thing has scored uh, 244 total category points 139 horsepower 1.8 liter inline four turbo 7.7 seconds from 0 to 100 so all right this is the first car that we're going to start with which is in the 20th place as you can see it looks somehow yes 1980s 70s ish as you can see uh, there are some nice touch-ups on it as you can see the, the the lines on the side those things on the top uh, the front is looking a bit weird to be honest with you unique and weird in its own special way turbo badge over there listen to the turbo that's really nice so this thing is actually a bit too low because cars in the 80s are not really that low back then cars had especially sedans they had i mean really really noticeable ride height not this kind of low i mean look at the rear tire it's, it's touching the fender which is not really an realistic touch uh the, the exhausts i don't know it's looking not bad not bad at all so let's see how it will drive here we go i've already i've already timed my car which is the prize for this challenge so let's see if this car can actually beat it or not so acceleration is actually not bad it's torquey, it's grippy. And as you can see right now, I'm gonna teach you some uh, shortcuts that you can take this lane here and jump it like that and continue. If you want to take a little shortcut to save time, and in here you need to brake really hard because it's a tight corner. And then this special bit here, which is my favorite one. Right, here we go. So this car is actually keeping keeping it neatly. I like it. It's grippy, bulky, somehow powerful. It handles nicely. Looks unique, but all the cars from the 80s were, were unique. Go, Lloyd. Because a front wheel drive car, you can't floor it all the time, especially with an open dip. 
and across the line, 1 minute 18. Wow, 1 minute 18. So as I've mentioned before, I've already timed my car, which is the prize for this challenge. As you can see, with 393X, EFI, whatever, turbo, it did 1 minute 15.9. This thing did 1 minute 18. So it's not a bad start. I'm impressed, actually. A very, very nice start. So that's the AXS Sun, 1 minute 18. Let's move on with the 19th place car. All right, my friends, this car, it's called the Condor Slippers. That's the name of it. This thing has scored 244 uh, total category points from its 95 horsepower engine. Uh, this thing has, let's see, a 1.8 liter inline 4 natural aspirated and goes from 0 to 100 in 9.9 seconds. So let's see how this thing will actually look. As you can see, the looks of it is pretty, pretty reasonable. As you can see, the front looks like some sort of gold. GTI, you know the circular headlights looks pretty neat. I like it. The rims are pretty nice touch. We have also mud flaps, which is a very cool, unique touch. Also, a single exhaust pipe, which is tilted in a special way. Awesome. So let's see how it will perform. <laughs> minute 23.959 not bad not bad at all very very cool car indeed looks really like a classic 1980s car and it definitely drives like a normal car pretty stable somehow grippy the engine feels very very awesome good work good work my friend indeed all right my friends the next vehicle is called the guziri q10 that's the name of it as you can see this thing has scored 244.2 total category points from its 84 horsepower 1.4 liter inline 4 turbo goes from 0 to 100 in 11.1 seconds it's pretty slow but the design of it and the looks it's pretty much late 70s early 80s as you can see with the, with its special bumpers and uh, that's semi semi volvo as you can see logo you know that that line uh, the headlights are too boxy the whole car is too boxy but i like it it looks pretty neat especially the rear end looks pretty neat i like it it's pretty elegant and the uh, look at that hanging exhaust looks looks absolutely crazy i mean 70s 80s all the way i love it so let's see how this 84 horsepower engine will cope and that 11 seconds from 0 to 100 so so most of the car here, cars here, or maybe all of them are front wheel drive. There are some rear wheel drive cars, but unfortunately those cars didn't make it, didn't make the list, the top list. Actually, this thing is actually not that bad. It's it's a little bit slow, but it's not bad. Sounds good. Here we go, shortcut again. Yeah, it's like a little jump, you know, action jump. And the brake. Wow, the brakes are looking really easy. A lot of you guys to kill 
brake fading, they used lots or maybe expensive brake pads. I'm not really sure why. Why do you want expensive brake pads? Because they will make the, the brakes to look sporty in BMW, which is not realistic. And it will, it will lock the, the brakes easily. What I did is I went with a little bit bigger than usual brake rotors or discs to kill brake fadeness and to keep the brakes, you know, look realistic. Because look at the brake discs on this car, they are drilled. They are too unrealistic, especially for the looks of the car and for the performance era. So as you can see, it's a little bit too slow. Yep, 1 minute 24.4. It's not bad, it's fun, but it's not quick enough. Yeah, it's good for a fleet car, but the company that requested the, the, the fleet car or the car design wants their cars to be a little bit quick around corners or maybe not corners, around the city. They want a quick car, not a slow car. But good effort, I love the design of this car, but it's a little bit too slow. Yes, my friend, but good work indeed. The Gazeera looks nice and it performs nicely on the road. Alright my friends, the next vehicle it's called the 1980 uh, Militia or Militia, I'm not really sure if it's Militia, Militia, Militia or not, I'm not really sure but that's the name of it as you have already seen. This thing has scored also 244.2 uh, total category points, same as the previous car, 117 horsepower engine, 2.3 liter inline 5 turbo and 10.3 seconds from 0 to 100. Now the design of it as you can see it's a little bit too modern for the 80s I think. It looks cool, I really like it but it looks like it's from late 80s maybe early 90s. I mean it looks good, it's not bad at all. Uh, the color it's too dark but I like it, I like those vents are back there, the door handles. Unfortunately some unrealistic touch-ups like the keyhole or the, you know the key entry entering area or the keyhole you know for the for the rear passenger doors. I mean, no uh, no car on earth, I think, has keyholes for the rear doors, I'm not really sure. Or the taillights, as I've mentioned, looks really modern. I like it, it's not bad at all, as you can see, the ladder chassis, very cheap in back there, not bad. Alright, so let's see how this thing will perform. Wow, automatic gearbox. That's not going to be a quick one, but let's see, so, braking, brakes are good. Mode. Look at that, shifting up, kicking down, your automatic. Shortcut. Wow, softly suspension. Haven't felt anything. Nice. Locking the brakes. That's very common. Right, here we go, come on, NPSI boost, okay. the tires are a little bit, not really that grippy, but it's not bad so far. Gearbox keeps shifting up. Straight line, stretch it, come on. And cross the line, 1 minute 20. Wow. So 1 minute 20.084, uh, that's not bad at all for an automatic car. I was expecting it to be a little bit even slower, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So good work, my friend. Let's move on with the next car. Alright, the next vehicle, it's called the No Hike. Hi, I think Centaur, maybe that's the name of it. Uh, this thing has scored 245.7 total category points, one, 123 horsepower engine, 2.4 liter inline 5 naturally aspirated. Goes from 0 to 100 in 9.3 seconds, not bad at all. So my friends, the design of it as you can see looks pretty neat. Look at the tail lights looking very very awesome the badging the chinese or maybe japanese license plate uh, the exhaust look at that they have a tow hitch or tow hook whatever you want to call it a rear wiper which is a rare touch i like it 
door handles nicely no keyhole but yeah i can let this one slide those fender mounted side mirrors looks pretty sick the front is just very boxy but it's it's you know correct for the era and uh, nice black rims and oh we have a we have a keyhole here oh i missed that i missed that so it's not bad we have a keyhole here but usually they put two keyholes on on both sides but it's all right and all right let's see how this thing will perform then natural aspirated power 123 horsepower the ratio very optimistic i like it Oh, that is actually eager to corner. Look at that, it's actually nice. Oh, very close to the tree, but yeah, that's I mean, if this thing may be an actually aspirated engine, maybe a little, a little bit low on power, but it's actually pretty neat. And the gear ratios are very, very much helping, or helping very much. Nice, 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 nice indeed. Wow, the minute 19. 1 minute 19 so it's actually better than 3 or 2 I think turbocharged cars I think or yeah whatever so this thing is actually pretty nice for a natural aspirated engine the suspension is actually pretty awesome the tune is pretty spot on the gear the gear ratios are very very good the engine it's, it's a natural aspirated engine but it's a pretty nice engine indeed the design is very very correct for the era and the gear ratios and the engine as I've mentioned are perfect I love it it's maybe it, it, this thing maybe not it's not the fastest car here but it's one of the best handling ones good work my friend indeed so let's move on with the next vehicle okay so the next car it's called the Bivel Apex VX that's the name of it uh, 246 total category points 152 horsepower that's really nice 2.2 liter inline four turbo making it or goes from 0 to 108 0.6 seconds now the styling of the car as you can see it has all the important fixtures to call it a car but uh, they are a little bit too much i mean look at the look, look at the license plate holder for example those two things on the side are too big uh let's see the exhaust pipe it's not bad this thing has some aerodynamical features like a look at that a lip mounted spoiler also like a, a bumper lip also the side not bad uh, the front, I think this car was inspired by the 1980s, I think Toyota Corolla, the AE86. It's not bad, I like it, I like this styling, it's very very inspiring, but... I mean, I'm not really sure about it, but it's really cool. It's cool for the inspiration things, and of course the engine, it's powerful, so let's see if the looks match the performance of this car. And of course we have a sunroof, which is a bit too luxurious for... Uh, a fleet car a fleet car should be basic and using a, a, a you know a sunroof it's too much i think but let's see let's see Ooh. Maybe years. oh my god the brakes Wow, very very heavy gear. I mean, the front, the, the first gear was pretty much maxed out, and then shifting the second gear goes all the way to 100 km per hour. That's that's not really good. Very very soft suspension. Look at that. I mean, maximum revs on the gear, and oh my god, the brakes. So the gear ratios, no, they are big no. Brakes, not really good. Is. The engine feels a little bit laggy. Look at that lag, 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 and then when the turbo kicks in, it goes quick. 
So I'm not really impressed to be honest with you. The styling is not bad, but the performance is uh, look at the brakes. I was even I'm not really that good. Look at that, maximum third gear is just too heavy and the turbo is not there to help. I'm sorry my friend but this thing needs retuning. Yeah as you can see the results are very obvious. An 84 or 80 something horsepower car is quicker than this 150 horsepower car around corners because this thing has very very I'm sorry to say this but very bad badly tuned gearbox the engine feels laggy the suspension it's not bad the suspension is actually good but the brakes are a bit a bit not really there the tires are not really that grippy so yeah my friend the styling it's not bad but you need to tune your engine and gearbox to make them you know to suit the car i mean what's the point of having a powerful engine with a laggy turbo and uh, gearbox ratios that are not helping the turbo to kick in they are actually making the engine worse so my friend yeah back to the drawing board good work good effort but yeah you need to retune it so good work and let's move on with the next vehicle all right my friends the next car is called the armor valencia 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 whatever the name of it i like the name of it. it's actually pretty luxurious 246.7 total category points 91.4 horsepower engine 2.1 liter in line 4 natural aspirated and it goes from 0 to 100 in 11.1 seconds now the starting of it as you can see the rear is pretty neat look at that armor valencia badge efi it's pretty you know it's pretty awesome it looks very very realistic the sides same story i like the lines the side indicators are a very very nice touch the front it's pretty simple very very elegant for the era i love it it's actually pretty nice it has basic rims basic black rims which is a very realistic touch of this so this car is actually looks very very realistic some notice some notice, some bits that i need to pay your attention my friend which is where are the window washers yes i understand that you have chosen some you know some vents to allow the water to escape from that's pretty neat but where are the window washers if you want to go fully on realistic so you need window washers and let's see everything everything is, yes and also you need a license plate holder up front if you want to go fully on realistic and that's pretty much it your car is well suited so let's see how this 97 no not, not, not 91 horsepower will cope all right here we go no much wheel spin as you can see yeah a bit a bit a bit too much heavy gearing for the engine it's a 90 horsepower engine you don't need to use heavy gearing on it or long gears short gears are very very favorable for these engines but look at that second gear 100 kilometers per hour that's too much soft suspension that's good make a comfy brake performance here we go not bad Right, here we go, so far so good. Floor it and 110 kilometers per hour on second gear, that's too much my friend. Very 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 long gear. Why? What's the point? If you are aiming for fuel economy, yes, but performance? Eh. the line 1 minute 22.17 so it's not bad it's not bad really 1 minute 22.17 the styling is very real which is really awesome good work i mean thumbs up on the styling the engine it's not bad the gear ratios are a bit too heavy for it but for real life usage it's actually pretty decent the brakes are good the tires are very good so yeah in general and overall i love it i love it indeed the armor valencia has a good name and a good uh, good soul and a good heart and good look and good good everything good work my friend indeed let's move on with the next vehicle 
Alright, so my friend, if you love oatmeal cookies or cookies in general and turbos, this is the car for you because this is the Cookie Monster Oatmeal Cookie. Yeah, I'm not kidding, that's the name of it. This thing has scored 247.6 total category points, 142 horsepower, 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 engine, goes from 0 to 108.2 seconds. Now, as you can see, for, uh, this car looks actually pretty nice. It's not bad at all. I mean, it looks nice in today's standards or in today, you know, styling looks, as you can see. Because uh, the, Mr. Cookie Monster, he actually used very, very thin tires, which are really, really unrealistic. Mm. I mean, for a moment, yes, I was actually gonna disqual going to disqualify this car for using big rims and small tires, but look at the car i mean the car in general in the body the tail lights the bumpers looks very very cool i mean really cool i mean even the rims in today's standards yes they look not bad but yeah in 1980s my friend next time mr cookie i mean you need to pay attention for the era for the designing era because thin tires big rims are not really that not that 1980s 90s maybe but 80s no big big fat no the window as you can see we have we have some sort of wipers no window washers also a pretty not really good touch the the sunroof for a basic car again not really realistic because we are setting a basic car and a basic car never ever has you know a sunroof but the design is not bad and i love the mid mounted exhaust pipe looks like a rally car so let's see how it perform <laughs> Alright, nice acceleration. Goes corner, brakes, not bad. Walking. Actually, Peppy wanted to get going. There we go. Shortcut time and. Oh, hard suspension. That's actually too much. Wow. Here we go, come on, come on. Wow. One minute seventeen point nine, pretty nice. Wow, second fastest car so far, 1 minute 17.9. It's actually pretty nice, Cookie Monster Turbo Oatmeal Cookie. Also, a, a yummy smell, I mean, a yummy name, sorry. I was, I got hungry for, yeah, for the obvious name. Uh, and as you can see, the car looks pretty awesome and drives really nicely. So good work, Mr. Cookie Monster. Good work, my friend, indeed. Now let's move on with the next car. Next car, it's called the Gazelle G80. That's the name of it. This thing has scored 249 point, uh, total category points from its 84.7 horsepower, 1.9 liter inline four turbo. So it's a big engine. It's turbocharged, and I'm not. I, I don't understand why it's only 84 horsepower. Really, I mean, I I really don't understand. Why? Why? What's the point of that? 10.7 uh, seconds from zero to 100. And let's see, the styling of this car is actually pretty nice. Has nice looking headlights, concept license plate. Why concept, my friend? We are building a fleet car, not a concept car. There we have basic rims. And yes, now this is a very, very bad thing, my friend, that you did here, which is why the wheels and the tires are big. This is a compact sedan, as I'm looking at, as you can see why using very very big wheels i mean this thing should have should have smaller rims and smaller tires why going why making why making this thing like an suv and check out the ride height this thing is like an suv it's not a sedan i mean i'm sorry but this thing looks pretty unrealistic 
wow, in automation game, this thing actually looked not bad, but in Beam Engine Drive, this thing is pretty much unrealistic. Wow, I mean, oh my god, I already started recording and I'm not gonna disqualify it. So, my friend, I'm gonna let this one slide because it looks unrealistic. I'm sorry to say this, but it looks very, very unrealistic. Why using an, an SUV um, suspension tune and a very, very big wheels? Yeah, the car looks pretty awesome, really good, perfect in every way for its for the era, but you have ruined the car using this ride height and these rims and tires. I'm sorry to say this, my friend, but that's the truth. Yeah, I'm gonna let this one slide. Alright. Acceleration, not bad. Off the brakes, not there. I had to use the handbrake to control the car. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Brake performance. Not bad, really. But I'm not really impressed. I'm not really impressed so far. So as you can see, 100 and something kilometers per hour. Not bad. Full gear. Blackout. 6.6 PSI. It's not really a hard accelerating car, but it's not bad. Again, the engine is large, it's not really a small engine, 1.9 liter, and it's, all, and it's turbocharged. It's making only, I don't know, about 80, 80 something horsepower, right? about 90 something horsepower. Right? God, really? Well, it's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough indeed. So, my friend, as you can see, the performance and the your lap time, it's, I mean, it says it all, as you can see. The, the suspension is not really that good. The tires are very, very big for no reason, and uh, the engine feels feels very, very choked. I mean, it's like someone is choking the intake by putting a very tiny turbo, maybe? I'm not really sure, my friend, what you did, but you need to get to the drawing board again. I mean, good effort. I love the design of this car. The body, the styling, it's perfect. It's very, 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 very perfect. I love it, but you need to put better suspension, better wheels on it, and for God's sake, I mean, release your engine from its choking, from its choking, you know, torture, please. So good work, and let's move on with the next car. All right, my friends, the next car it's called the L Hague Buren, I think GFT. This thing has scored the 250.3 total category points, 151 horsepower engine, 2.6 liter inline five turbo, and 7.6 seconds from 0 to 100 so it's a pretty quick car it's not bad at all as you can see the styling of it back there or the you know the back of it it's not bad as you can see the buren badge the gfe we have a, a keyhole a handle some sort of handle which I, I really don't like the exhaust is it's actually not bad it's large actually turbo badge efi it's not really shown because of the black paint we have side indicators, lockable fuel filler cap, a lip mounted spoiler or you know wing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the rims are pretty neat, a little bit, a little bit like 1950s, 60s rims. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but they look nice. The front is pretty neat. I like it. Look at that. I can, you can actually see the engine and uh, the badge with the lion badge. It's actually not bad, not bad at all. I like it. So let's see how this thing will perform. Wait. 
very, very, very long years. I mean, look at that. Second year is just... Look at that. 200... Oh, sorry, 150, I think. Yeah, 150. Second year. Oh, this thing is actually quick, but the key ratios are not really impressive. Pick it up. One minute eighteen point oh nine three. It's actually quick. I was really really impressed by for the you know with this car from the beginning. It was very very quick. The gear ratios are a little bit not really that good, but the engine is really powerful. Suspension tune very good. Tires are grippy. Brakes are also good. All right, so good work, my friend. You always make, you always, you have always created some of the best cars. The El Hague badge will be always one of the best cars from from every challenge that we had so far. So good work, and let's move on with the next vehicle. Okay, so the next car is called the Harkins Columbia. That's the name of it. This thing has scored 250.7 total category points, 102 horsepower engine. 2.8 liter inline six naturally aspirated and it goes from 0 to 100 in 13.4 seconds that's very slow i mean yes i understand the whole idea like the oil crisis and then we have we have the emissions re regulations you know era i understand it's a 2.8 liter engine yes it's a big engine inline six and yes it's making only 100 horsepower that's very very understandable but why it's 13 seconds i mean 100 horsepower engine can get quicker than this and yeah so let's look at the styling as you can see the styling looks pretty much american all the way american as you can see a land yacht that's what, that's what they call these cars and yeah i like it it's not bad some some fixtures are not really a Appropriate. I mean, like that, you know, trunk handle something. I mean, a, a trunk needs only to have like a keyhole. And that, that's it. You put the key in, to turn it, and open the trunk. No need for a handle. This is not a hatchback. Also, the door handles are a little bit very, very I mean, high. They need to be a little bit lower than this. The side mirrors are a little bit tiny. But I love it. It looks pretty American indeed. Look at those square headlights, the badging, everything pretty neat all right so let's see how this 100 horsepower engine will cope and it's automatic so yeah i understand now why it's slow i feel like i'm driving a land yacht this thing had a v8 with a you know, full on land yacht Jump it again. Oh, suspension. Fish. And kick down. Transition don't want to kick down. There we go. And shifting it manually. Look at second gear. I think I think it's a three gear automatic. Look at that here, it's just, it, it acts like an overdrive. Wow, that's pretty much good, one hundred and ten. Probably something put on the tower. And the suspension, it's something what you call... It's sporty, it's very, very... It's very towards, you know, regular driving, but it's not bad. One minute 27 yeah i'm not really surprised i am not surprised this is what i was expecting exactly 125 to, no, not, not 25 26 27 that was what i was expecting all the way because it's slow it's very very smooth it's comfortable i mean that's that's what a land yacht should be but yeah if you, if you want to if you want to drive it you know in a sporty manner no just uh, just take, take a taxi it will be much quicker than this 
So good work, good work. I love the design of this car. I love those American Land Yachts, the 1980s one. It looks pretty sick. I love them. And uh, yeah, I love the, that the, the, your inspiration was those cars. So good work, my friend, and better luck next time. And let's move on to the next vehicle. Okay, so the next vehicle it's called the Lissara Fluva. That's the name of it. 251.1 total category points. 134 horsepower, 2 liter inline 4 turbo, goes from 0 to 107.8 seconds. That's pretty neat. Now, look at the styling. It's actually, this thing actually looks pretty normal. Reminds me a, a little bit with an Alfa Romeo. I think that was the inspiration behind it. And, uh, you know, the red paint, the, this grill, it's not bad really. Window washers, they are there. But nice, nice indeed. Uh, again, here, you know, quad keyholes or you know, four keyholes for every door. I'm not really understand why. I love the rims; they look pretty normal and pretty special so far. And uh, also, again, the I mean, this is a, this is a hatchback. No, this is a regular trunk, as you can see, because this is a sedan. And why they need a handle, a door handle to open the trunk? Just a keyhole insert it, turn it, and it will, it will open. I love the badging. I love this black line; looks pretty awesome. And the you know, turbo EFI. Cool. So let's see how it will perform then. Nice acceleration. Oh, I have to use the handbrake. Jump. As you have seen, because of this thing has the weight distribution of I think 60 40 to the front, when this car was in the air, the, the whole or the front of the car was tilting down. But it's very nice to drive, it's really fun. Look at that, it sounds good, handled amazingly. One minute nineteen point four. Wow, pretty awesome. Sixth place. That's pretty cool. One minute nineteen point four eight. Again, I love this. I love the Alpha inspiration, you know, idea behind it. I love the name of the car. The looks is pretty cool. Also, the performance is very, very impressive. The engine, the gearbox, the brakes, the, oh, the suspension is just beautiful. And good work, really, really good work. Thumbs up, my friend. Indeed. Let's move on with the next car. All right, my friends. The next vehicle is called the the Jarvai Jarvai Activist. I think that's the name of it. 251.1 total category points again, 93.3 uh, horsepower, 1.9 liter inline 4 turbo, goes from 0 to 111.3 seconds. Now, the starting of it, as you can see, check out the name of it, the the Jovai, whatever the name of it, yeah, that's the name of it, turbo badging, everything is looking pretty neat, uh, door handles, EFI badging, it's not bad, actually, it looks pretty neat, and yeah, it has those... Uh, as you can see, wow, has those you know headlight head, headlights uh, wipers. Not bad. That's a very very nice classic touch. Hmm. I'm impressed. Actually, it's not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all. So let's see how to perform. Oh, oh my God! Very small acceleration. I mean, this, especially the first gear, no spin at all. But yeah, that corner was pretty impressive. This is pretty neat. Go jumping. Not 
bad, dude. It's, uh, it acts like a normal car. Yes, it's turbocharged. Yes, the engine is a little bit torquey, but it's not really that quick, to be honest with you. It's flat out, foot will go through the firewall, but not that good. One minute, 22.28. So, as I was expecting, it's not bad, but it's not also good. I mean, it's in the middle. And yes, as you can see, it's in the middle, and that's very, very appropriate for it. It looks normal, it drives normal, and I mean, there's nothing special about it. It's normal, it's a normal car, so it's in the middle. I'm, I'm somehow impressed, so yeah, good work my friend, you have created a normal turbocharged car from the 80s. It's not, a, it's not an easy work and you, you obviously did an amazing work, so good work, good effort, and let's move on with the next car. Alright my friends, the next car it's called the E-Mile, that's the name of E-Mile Sync. Uh, this thing has scored 251.7 total category points from its 116.7 horsepower engine. 1.8 liter in line for turbo goes from 0 to 110 seconds exactly now the styling of it as you can see i mean from the back it looks pretty basic there is nothing we to talk about turbo badge and i'm not really sure if that's an efi or something but uh, yeah l badge are back there fat tires which means uh, comfortable ride again with the four you know four keyholes for each door that's not really yeah the front end is looking pretty basic again very 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 basic headlights fog lights indicators i mean it's really basic as a basic car and but those vents back there i'm not really impressed by those vents they look they look actually a bit wrong I mean, that, because this is not a sports car i mean why using those vents what are you trying to cool yeah so yeah pretty much good i mean in general it's pretty good so let's see if, if, it, if the looks matches the performance Oh, it's automatic. Come on. That should be the first. This got a risk gearbox is not really impressive. There we go. Jump. Automatic mode is good for the road, but on the track, no. Big fat no. Look at that, you put your foot hard down, doesn't want to stick down most of the time. But it's not bad. The engine is really good, the gear ratios are perfect. Wow, 1 minute 21. Really good. I'm impressed. Also, a mid a mid car, a mid engine, uh, not, a, not a mid engine, you know, a mid performance car it's in the middle exactly eighth place which is really cool one minute 21.334 good work my friend indeed let's move on with the next vehicle okay the next vehicle it's called the badger ba badger badger that's the name of it two liter two t4 uh, this thing has scored 252.2 .2, uh, total category points uh, 125 horsepower, 2 liter turbocharged inline 5 engine, 9.3 seconds from 0 to 100. Now, the styling of it, as you can see, uh, this is the ba Badger, Badger, you know, badge back there. 2 liter turbo, those are like, you know, slimmy, slim looking BMW taillights, which is not really impressive to be honest with you. Uh, single exhaust pipe, uh, door handles are a bit, bit, a bit modern. And let's see, two liter as you can see on the badge, badge. Um, let's see now, the front is looking pretty special. 
we have like if you look at that badge in the middle square that lines we have some sort of aerodynamical features very 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 basic rims yeah so let's see not bad acceleration the wide height is a bit too high The engine is actually surprisingly nice. Gearbox ratios are are helping the engine to achieve its uh, you know boost RPM range. Easily, which is really cool. That's very very nice indeed. I mean one of the one of the top five cars. That's very very impressive. Alright, good work my friend indeed. Again the white height is a bit of a it's a bit of an issue to be honest with you. The styling it's not bad, but you need you know to pay a little more attention, especially to the to the tail lights, to the rear badging. But in general it's a good car. Good car indeed. Let's move on to the next one and good work my friend. Alright, so the next vehicle it's called the Hay Bow. Um what Sh Shabai FUI? I'm not really sure what does that mean, but yeah, that's the name of it. Uh, let's see, this thing has scored 255.7 total category points, 162 horsepower, 2.3 liter inline 5 turbo. That's actually pretty powerful. 7.5 seconds from 0 to 100, also pretty quick. Now, the styling of the car, as you can see, looks pretty. Uh, somehow late 80s maybe early 90s I mean it's not bad really look at that Shabai badge uh, look at that rear rear spoiler wing whatever you want to call it the tail lights are looking pretty neat the side is pretty awesome the car is itself is a little bit large I mean look at look how long the car is has a pretty big you know boot or trunk whatever you want to call it the front is actually pretty looking pretty awesome like a I mean really really close to a Volvo badge and uh, yeah, I understand. I under I really understand the inspiration. It's like a Volvo inspiring car. It's not really good. Uh, sorry, it's not really bad. Sorry, it looks very very good, but it's not bad at all. And um, let's see, pretty neat, pretty neat indeed. Let's see how this thing will perform. We have some power here. Brakes. Oops, we have lost the side there. I apologize about that. But since this car is a great car, it should be easy and cheap to replace. Well, it's a fleet car, so yeah. Damaging them is one of the not bad things you can do. Hmm. This thing may have the horsepower, but I'm not really seeing seeing it to be honest with you. I mean, look at that flat out right now. Look at the speed, it's not really that impressive, you know, fast climbing speed. 1 minute 18.9. Wow. I would I mean I was expecting it to be like second place, maybe third place, but not sixth place. Wow, that's actually disappointing. Looks good. It has the horsepower, but I'm not really sure. 
What's the problem? The brakes were not bad, the suspension is not bad. I think the gearbox ratios. Yeah, the gearbox ratios. I mean, I was shifting it nicely, but somehow they were a bit too heavy. I think if I, think if I, if I can try again, maybe I can get it to do like 18.5. Maybe 18 point, I don't know, 18.4 maybe, or 3, but no more than that. I mean, I was expecting it to be like 1 minute 16, 1 minute maybe 17, but not in the 18s. Huh. Alright, so good work, my friend. I love the styling of this car, but some, so, somehow it's slow, so you need to, you know, to take a deep look at it and see and fix it. Because this thing has horsepower, so yeah, you need to you need to invest in other things to make it go quicker than this, my friend. So good work, and let's move on. Okay, my friend. So the next car is called the FB B4. Yes, that's the name of it. Uh, 256.4 total category points. Uh, 85.4 horsepower engine, two liter turbocharged in line four. Again, it's a big fat engine with a turbocharger, and why the low horsepower? I don't understand why. I mean, I really don't understand why. What are you aiming for? Eco economy, torque, I'm not really sure. And 12.7 seconds from 0 to 100. I mean, the numbers are not really impressive. I mean, really not impressive at all. So as you can see, the styling of this car, this is the name of it, FB-B4. Look at that, Bisonet, I think, Bisonet. HE, I love the badging, I love the keyhole for the trunk, the, ba the badge. Look at that lockable fuel filler cap, door handles, turbo badge. I mean, it looks pretty decent. It looks like a decent car and pretty normal and somehow good looking car. I'm, I like the styling, it's pretty basic. I like it, it's, it's really nice. But why the low horsepower? I mean, this turbo badge on the side, I mean, when it, everyone would look and see, look at that, this car is turbocharged, but a normal natural aspirated car will have more horsepower than this. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see how the performance will be. And low RPM range. Oh my god, no oomph at all. Not, not much wheel spin. Brakes are good. I think. Or maybe the car is too slow. Look at that second gear, it's barely moving. This is black out. It's fired, which is good. Oh, soft suspension. Good. That one should be the first. Keeping it in second, that's not good. Look at that 2000 RPM. 2000, 4000, and that's not good. I mean, the RPM range looks like a diesel engine RPM range. I mean, why it's so so low? Is the stroke that much that high? Look at that! I mean, the turbo, it's not really can't really keep up. I mean, it's 3,000 RPM and it's flat out and wow! I mean, the engine is a big engine, it's like a two-liter engine, and it's not really that it's not really working properly. I had so much hope for this car. 1 minute 23.621. Wow, it's in yeah, it's in the bottom of the list, the 14th place. Wow, not impressive at all. I mean the styling, I love the styling, it's pretty, pretty perfect. It's perfect for a fleet car, it's really perfect. But the performance, I mean, no one will buy a car with 84 horsepower or 80, 80 something horsepower and it's turbocharged and it's a 2 liter engine. I mean the engine is heavy, it's a big engine with a turbo and piping and intercooler and all this heavy weight and it's only 84 80 something horsepower ah my friend you need to work on the horsepower i mean this thing needs to be at least 130 horsepower at least to be to be considered a, a good looking and a good performer yeah so back to the drawing board my friend uh, back to the drawing board but good effort good effort let's move on all right my friends now we are in the top three cars the three cars uh, you know the top three cars with the highest category points so in the third place this car is called the apogee something i'm not really sure how to pronounce it i mean yes there's the kf kfc badge there and yes that's the name of it the g the gm what the Jimmy aux the, the gmox i'm not really sure how to pronounce it i'm sorry but yeah that's the name of it and the, the styling of it 
or be before the styling this thing has a let's say 256.6 total category points from its 133.9 horsepower and uh, inline four turbo 2.4 liter not bad 8.7 seconds from 0 to 100 now the styling as you can see it's uh it's pretty unique in its own special way look at those unique rims the two liter back turbo on the side look at those i mean this thing has an inline engine why the fake exhaust tip this thing has only a single exhaust pipe why the fake second one i'm not really sure why we have a tow hook which is i mean it has a two liter engine i'm not really sure you can tow things but it's not bad door handles are in the wrong position and let's see we have weird looking window washers no no vents to allow the water to escape not bad really not bad at all so let's see how it will perform what's that in the roof small sunroof automatic gearbox right first corner locking the brakes very easily Oh, it's not bad, it's actually, it's actually quick. It's the engine is really close to 13.5 PSI. That means the torque is pretty nice. And that tells you the story. Look at the speed! Oof. Torque is actually pretty, a pretty important thing with an automatic gearbox. Heck, it all breaks. It's, it's a quick car. I mean, it's a very, very quick car with an automatic gearbox in this channel. I'm not saying in general, but look at that. Even if the gearbox is lazy and it, I mean, it acts like an idiot, but the torque is saying, okay, no problem. Keep up, 140. Oh, look at, look at the massive slide. The engine is really nice, it's really nice, but the gearbox is really ruining the fun. Gearbox ratio. 1 minute 19? Oh, that's pretty nice. Seventh place. 1 minute 19.2, that's a very, very quick number for an automatic car. I'm really, really impressive, impressed by it. And that's the name of it, if you are wondering, it's called the Apogee, I don't know, that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a nicely quick car. The suspension is really cool. The brakes are are looking very easily, but it's not bad. It's it's somehow grippy. Looks unique in its own special way. The engine is an impressive engine. I love the torque of this engine. So good work, good effort. Let's move on with the second place car. All right. So the this is the second place car, or the you know the second place in the top three cars. It's called the Myzeed GXE that's the name of it uh, 258.3 total category points from its 148 horsepower engine 2.5 liter inline 5 turbo goes from 0 to 107.4 seconds that's a pretty quick number so as you can see this is the styling of it this is the my z that you can see Co corona yeah corona that's the name of the gxe turbo this side is looking also pretty nice i love the look at those lines from the from all the way from the tail light to the side indicator that's a really 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 nice touch nice nice i mean lines 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 all the way which is i mean lines were pretty were pretty common back there in the 80s and also you have a mud flaps which is i don't know this is not a rally car but nice touch a roof antenna sunroof which is a very very luxurious thing for a fleet car Let's see, window washers, uh, wipers, no vents to allow the water to escape. We have like a look at the look at the hood. It's a little, it has a little bump in it. Looks sporty. Pop up headlights. My Z badge. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see how it will perform. Long gears, but it's not bad. Oh, 
on the brakes. Stop on me, it's quick. Come on. One minute 18.667. That was actually very, very impressive. I am really impressed by this car. Uh, this, th this thing is actually torquey, it's grippy, and it's crazy in, in, at some corners. Uh, the brakes are not really got good, good, you know, balanced that, that good, but. They work. Everything is working as it should be. I love the styling of this car. All the lines are the badging. Perfectly designed car for this era. Really nice. Very, very nice effort indeed. And now, let's move on to the first place. The car with the highest total category points. Let's move to it. Alright, my friends. This is the car with the highest total category points in this whole challenge. It's called the Leon Finch, yes, Finch Fleet, that's the name of it. This thing has scored 271.1 total category points uh, for, from its 105 horsepower, inline 5 turbo, 3 liter engine, not bad at all, goes from 0 to 100 in 12.2 seconds. So, as a car, as a car that you want to buy, it's perfect in every way. But as it, when it comes to performance, no. So let's check out this styling. As you can see, the styling looks like a bona fide Lada, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure what's, what kind of model the Lada is, but you know, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. It's the boxy one. It's like a stretched one with nice, uh, with, with nicely designed everything. So this thing is actually has scored very, very nice points because it's comfortable. It's somehow sporty. It's very drivable. It's efficient. It's uh, safe, reliable, practical. It's good in every way. And the design, look at the back, looks pretty decent. The side, it's typical boxy car. The rims are nicely suited, fat tires, comfortable ride. It's nice, it's nice, it's very, very nice actually. So, yeah, it has all the important things as you can see vents, wipers, side mirrors, everything. So, let's see how to perform this. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Sport mode enabled. The there we go. Oh, that, that's a soft piece of suspension. It's slow, but it's, it's going. Launch it up. Oh, the box is just lazy. Yep, it's moving, it's moving, but it's not really moving that quickly. And the roll angle is just. Oh, this thing rolls from side to side. So yes, it, this thing may be, this thing is maybe the best car as a car, but it's definitely not the quickest one here. In the previous challenge, yes, the, the best car with the highest category points was also the quickest car, but in this challenge, yeah, you can't really do that because this is 1980s and horsepower, it's not really an important thing here, thing here, and you can't really make a quick car with the highest total category points. In in modern challenges, in modern times like 2019 and, and more, 
yes you can actually make a very very perfect car in its total category points and you can actually smash the track smash every car on the track and yeah but here you can't do that but it's a good effort i mean really perfect effort as a car that you want to buy you want to buy you know to take it to take the kids to school to use it every day as a practical reliable perfectly good looking not really good looking car but you know what i mean this is the one that you want but if you want to if you want to get the fastest one here i'm going to be showing you right now the winner of this challenge all right my friends so we have driven all the 20 all the top 20 cars and now we have to pick the winner of this car the 393 turbo so my friends let's head to the track and see which one actually won the challenge and also let's see what which one is the winner of the prettiest car vote because there there was a vote on the community tab about which one of those three cars which one of the three cars that i posted is the prettiest car and people actually vote and lot, lots of people vote for this one so let's see which one they actually vote and let me give you a taste of this car because it's available right now on my patreon page if you want to download it as you can see 165 horses perfectly balanced it's front wheel drive yes so you can actually do that and here we go those are the two cars that won this challenge and they will get two copies of this car here we go so my friends these are the winners of this challenge of the 1980s uh, affordable fleet car challenge we have the winner and the quickest car around the track which was the cookie oatmeal cookie something uh, sedan as you can see uh, scoring 1 minute 17.901 which was a very very quick time it's not really that quick that that quick you know on a straight line but it's actually very very awesome around the corners so good work my friend and of course the prettiest car because you know when it comes to the vote because this car here which is the tabs this car actually won the vote for the prettiest car yeah this thing actually won i'm not kidding as you can see it looks pretty decent it has all the amazing fixtures to call it a nice looking car the classic 1980s rims the line the badging the vents the as you can see everything the tabs sambusa that's the name of it gl looks actually pretty decent the wheel is actually pretty nice the design is even nicer the front is unique in its own special way so congratulations my friend both of you the cookie the cookie monster and the creator of the tabs for winning this the 393 turbocharged front wheel drive a monster which which is actually which all the rules are based on this this particular car all the rules everything that you have seen again with the rules are based on this car so enjoy it send some screenshot when you drive this car i want to see you guys driving this amazing car around the track or anywhere you want so congratulations and thank you so much for everyone for, for everyone that has participated and better luck next time to the cars that got disqualified or you know didn't make it didn't make it to this video thank you so much guys for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this video and as always leave your thoughts in the comment section below and hit that thumbs up get subscribed share the video if you want to share it and of course after you finish watching this video if you like my videos and if you want to support the channel by downloading my beam and these special cars on my patreon page the link in the description below you can find all of my special cars down there on that link you can sign up to my patreon page you can get 4k wallpapers you can watch behind the scenes and also pretty soon very very soon i'm gonna be doing special live streams only for my patrons i'm gonna do regular live stream on on 9 p.m friday but also i'm gonna be also doing some special live streams for my patrons only also you can check out my bn shop so you can support this channel by wearing and purchasing a special t-shirt with the logo of this channel on it so you can share your your winnings and so you can share your awesome feeling when you are watching those videos everywhere you go and of course by purchasing a t-shirt or, or a hoodie or an apron 
or a bag or a mug or even a phone case all of these things are available on this website on, on the BN shop also the link in the description below as you can see you can find accessories caps mugs aprons everything even I mean I don't know it, it, look, look at that even iPhone cases Samsung uh, phones cases you can find everything with the logo of the channel on it and of course all the money that I'm gonna be getting from from you when you purchase a thing on this page all the money will be spent on upgrading this channel with better equipment like microphones like uh, better computer components to keep the channel running perfectly and to give me more motivation more motivation to do more and more and more so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you very very soon and goodbye for now my fellow automation engineers and viewers and goodbye